Hello everyone, my name is Mariam Rashid. I did my bachelor's in electrical engineering from LUMS back in 2017. And then since then, I started doing my PhD at Utah State University. I just graduated in 2023, and I worked under the supervision of Dr. Regan Zane at the time. Uh, my PhD essentially focused on power electronic converters for vehicle electrification. So now that I've graduated, I will be joining Ford Motor Company back in the US. I've had multiple offers from different automotive companies. And along with that, I've also had an offer from the University of Colorado Boulder as an assistant professor. So here's my story. Um, Back in school, I took part in what's called the International Space Settlement Design Competition, which is organized by NASA. At the time, I got exposure to um, civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and also structural engineering. Now, this competition took part in the US, which meant I got exposure to how things are done outside of Pakistan as well. So as a result of that competition, I got really, really interested in electrical engineering. And just the fact that LUMS was in my hometown, Lahore, um, and had a specialization in electrical engineering, more particularly um, around vehicle electrification, that got me really, really interested um, to pursue electrical engineering and more particularly work in the domain of sustainability and also vehicle electrification. And then to top it all, um, in my senior year project, um, I took part um, in a competition called the Shell Eco Marathon. So we were a group of six students. Um, we took part in this competition, got to the finals in Singapore, and we developed an electric uh, vehicle, which was a battery electric vehicle. So my past interest in physics, chemistry, mathematics, and my past exposure, along with my exposure as a result of my senior year project got me really, really interested um, in the domain of transportation electrification. And given that I had been surrounded by academics, um, which are my parents or professors, it made this ideal combination of pursuing a PhD in the area as well. Um, so during my senior year, um, I worked with uh, Professor Naman Ahmed Zafar and also Dr. Sabi Anwar. Um, they were my mentors, firstly throughout my journey uh, while at LUMS, but more particularly um, they guided me throughout my senior year project. Not just that, but they also helped with my admissions, um, writing recommendations and also mentoring me as to what to look for um, when, when, when opting for, um, for a PhD in electrical engineering. Um, to top it all, um, they used to often organize uh, talks by alumni from LUMS, which is great because it is through interaction with these alumni that I got to know about various programs in the U.S. And the program that I particularly was also a part of at Utah State University um, was through these connections and through these interactions with my, uh, with my advisors here at LUMS. So first of all, I think Regardless of whether you want to go into industry or if you want to go to grad school, it's really, really important for you to have clarity. Now, one of the key ways to attain clarity while at LUMS um, is essentially to be proactive, to reach out to people, to reach out to not just students and alumni, but also to avail the experience and the expertise of the professors here. So together, once you make an informed decision and, it, and attain clarity as to what the future direction is going to be, it will, it, will, it will make your life much, much easier. However, however, once you've decided if you want to go into industry or if you want to go into grad school, it's really, really important to be committed, to be committed towards your target. For me, that was attaining my PhD degree. Um, on top of that, more particularly in the field of power electronics, I would highly, highly recommend and suggest students to focus on on the fundamentals, on the core courses that you take here. To name a few, I would say electricity and magnetism to start off, and then moving on control systems, power electronics. These courses are really, really important. And then finally, if you wanna be competitive in today's world, you need to have really strong programming skills. You like it or not, but you definitely do need to focus on those. And obviously you can focus on programming skills that are more particularly affiliated with your um, field of study.